Hello, everybody. Happy Petty Boot Sunday. We have Dr. Vicki here from the Seeds of Transformation and Healing Center in uh, Warren, Mas Warren Ham, Massachusetts. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> That's okay. Most people can't. <laughs> and, and Johnny, uh, Becca's not joining us tonight in case everybody's looking for her under the weather. So we have we have tomorrow the lunar eclipse, um, yes. which may be visible in the northern hemisphere. If you want to get up I, I in the middle of the night, yeah, yeah, I think I think you see some of it, but not the not the peak. I think the only place you see the peak is uh, in in Europe and uh, Australia and India. I think, yeah shortly to be followed by the solar eclipse. Oh, yes, which we're definitely going to see. <laughs> we're definitely going to see that one. Woo, baby. We have nothing but clouds. I probably won't see either over here. Oh. But I like well, it. So. Yeah. It's I'm rainy sure. season. I'm not sure you can see it anyway in, in Oregon. I'm not sure. The, you can see the solar one in Oregon, but you, I, you can't see oh, it. And you can, I know it's there. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> like if you feel it. Northwest we'll to it. southeast. No, northeast to southwest, you should be able to see it. it uh, Illinois is one of the uh, prime Illinois, places you'll to definitely view it. see it. Yep, yep. It's where it crosses that 200, I mean, that 2017. Right at the bottom there, and I heard there's a, a a fault there. Do you know about there's a fault at this at this there's, like where Missouri and and Chicago yeah, and it goes down into Tennessee. Um, there's a major fault line in that area. Um, they don't feel a lot of earthquakes, but there is a major fault there. Yeah, and that's where that's, cross, that's where that's, uh, where that's in get, southern Illinois. Like yes. that would take me about four hours to drive to because Illinois is kind of long. Um, but that's about three and a yeah. half, four, yeah. probably about four hours from me. Yeah, so that's where Illinois area. Really dips into like the heartland, right? The yeah, heartland. it's beautiful in that area. It's like uh, gentle rolling hills and very green, but Kentucky, Missouri, Illinois, and Tennessee right there. So what's going on, Miss Vicky? What, anything? Any announcements? Um. Well, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, I I uh, do have uh, appointments available if you're interested in having a reading with me, although they are uh, getting getting scooped up because thanks to my Jen Lynn and my uh, Susan Lynn <laughs> experiences. Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies. Um. So uh, I am going to be doing another uh, begin um, introduction to the Kabbalah that won't start until um, uh, May, May, and and I will put it up on my website on the events page and all the details for that. So if you're interested in that, learning about the Tree of Life and how I work with it, that would be the class to take. Um, if you do a community post on your uh, YouTube channel. Um... I'll uh, share it on mine too, so people can find okay. it with, with links to your website. All right, great, thank you, thank you. That would be helpful. I'm still yes. trying to navigate this whole, like how you put yourself out there thing, you know. So it's it's funny because uh, Johnny and I went on with Susan Lynn one Monday, and uh, as soon that. as that we did great. that, yeah, as soon as we did that, I sold out my seminar. <laughs> it's like, thank you, yeah. Susan. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she, she's, she watches us on Petty Booth. She doesn't comment in the chat, but she watches us. If you're there, Susan, hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, what you got going on? Nothing. Um, <laughs> tarot class starts May the 5th. It's beginner's tarot. And I made an announcement last week with the details. So just go check that out at the beginning of the stream. Um, all we're taking right now is reservations for your spot. So if you want to hold the spot for the tarot class that starts May 5th on Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific, then just email me at tarotsapprentice at gmail.com. 
and he films those so even if you're international you can always watch the videos later yes. and uh for me if you go to jenlintero.com if you want to schedule a reading um i have some openings uh i think there might be one or two left at the end of july and then going into august is open i'm booking up further in advance than i used to so Got to, got to get in there if you want a reading or if you want to purchase a gift card. Makes a great Mother's Day present if you want to purchase a gift card for a reading. It would be a good uh, uh, a good gift for like a Saturn return gift. Yeah. <laughs> People want to know what's going on, you can tell them. <laughs> uh, and if you want to get on the waiting list for my seminar in Portland in June, you can do that. If I have any cancellations, uh, it's a first first come first serve as, uh, as people sign up on the waiting list. Um, and we'll be coming back probably um, in September, October and do another round of seminars. Uh, but more on that later. We're not ready to launch it on the website yet. I'm trying to trying to leave it uh, so people can sign up for the waiting list for the June one if they want to. So we got, we got to start with my favorite thing that happened this week because there was so much that happened. Um, oh, what was that guy's name? Um, I thought I wrote it down. The, the hearing for the impeachment of Biden. Um, you know, I, I loved, you know, loved Parnas. He was awesome. He was calling everybody out. We'll get to that. But my favorite thing was the GOP's guy, um, Jason Galanis, testifying from prison in Alabama. <laughs> it was just so, I, I can't stop laughing about it. It's like, oh my God, they literally have a prisoner phoning in on Zoom to testify. He's in prison for embezzling $80 million from a pension plan. And that was their star witness in the Hunter, Hunter Biden whole laptop thing and stuff. And if you if you miss that, you got to go watch the videos from the, the hearing because he literally was Zooming in from prison. They at least put a, a coat and tie on him. So he wasn't like, I think they should have made him stay in his orange jumpsuit. <laughs> but I want to know, what were they thinking? What was Comer and everybody thinking to invite this guy to Zoom in from prison? <laughs> like... The, is that a believable witness? <laughs> I, I think assuming they think that they're thinking at all is is a big assumption. But okay, we we'll, we can. Wow! How did they think that was going to help their case? <laughs> wow. Calling to the stand P0499318. <laughs> it's okay. So, what they have is not, they're not prepared. So, it's kind of a last ditch effort type of thing. You have the Queen of Swords. So, here would be something in its legal capacity, and not to mention information. Um, what's interesting here too is sort of get the, she's cutting her hand on her own sword. So this is, this, oh. they don't have anything else. Um, there's a seven of pentacles to where this is in the negative to where you don't have anything ready. Your crops have not bloomed. You don't have a star witness. You don't have star testimony. You don't have star evidence. You don't have. The thing that you need to really knock this out of the park. Um, your good news, Four of Cups. Again, sometimes God answers all prayers. Sometimes the answer is no. And so you don't have what you need. Okay. The Four of Cups is telling you you actually do, if you think about it. And what you have is an exit plan to let this go. And the Four of Cups is saying, here, here's a better alternative. Here's a better reality because what's in front of you is not very good. So here is something 
that would make it all better. And what would make it all better is if you just left this thing with the world card, just let it be. You know, and you want to, I, I get it, you want to burn the world down, but just let it go. This is going to get worse. I, I, I just, the optics of somebody from prison calling into Congress was just so beyond. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting, Vicky? Well, I'm getting that you know they 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 started this right. They started the process. The crossing card um, is the uh, is the daughter of Pentacles. They they just underneath his judgment, there is no case. It doesn't even matter if there's a case because I think they're just being told. Just keep, just have it keep going. Doesn't matter how stupid you look when I win, you know, it's just, they're just following orders from Trump and they have no other choice, but this is like, oh, I don't know. Only criminals will, will, will talk about this. We get the moon in the immediate environment. It's just nuts. It's just craziness. And they keep looking. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to find a connection that they, they, for some reason they think that they can find it while they're doing it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, well, eventually something will come up, but, but it's so maybe this connection. guy in prison has a connection. <laughs> and then they're giving Lev Parnas a hard time because he's a felon. He's a felon because he just, because he, he decided, he, he decided. To Why is he a felon? Right. Cause he's hanging hmm. around with this. He thought he was doing good. He thought he was going to save the world. Donald Trump had him convinced. The uh, other guy that was the witness, they said, well, he's here because he was Hunter Biden's partner. And we don't understand why you have left Parnas because he was Trump's partner and Giuliani's partner. Why did Michael Cohen go into jail? I wonder. Still in girl count scum crickets or no? What happened there? Thank you, Mara. <sighs> Um, yeah, they don't know where they're going with this. They really don't. And, you know, they they started this as a power play and it's just chaos. They're very anxious about the evidence because there is no evidence. And so, yeah, let's get this guy that's in, in a prison, in an institution, um, get him to man manipulate things to show America, you know, what's going on. Um you know, and then they're like, oh, let's move through this quickly because it wasn't going well. Let's wrap this up. But I think, too, it's, it's kind of funny. Like, they know DOJ's coming after some of them. So it's like, we'll see you in prison soon. <laughs> we'll be joining you down there in that federal penitentiary. Oh, my God. Save me a plate. Save me a plate. I like mashed potatoes and pinto beans, too. <laughs> Boxed mashed potatoes. Ain't nobody peeling potatoes. <laughs> Those pre-dried flakes. Um, so. so let's go from that to Love Parnas. Love Parnas was calling out everybody, and he even called out Representative Pete Sessions, who was sitting there on the committee as the partners for Trump and Giuliani to spread this in Congress and stuff. He called out uh, Giuliani, Trump, Lindsey Graham, Ron Johnson, uh, who who had you know made a trip uh, on July fourth over to uh, uh, Russia. So was he uh, in I that? I can't remember all. Yeah, I think Lindsey was Graham in was in that group too. Lindsey right? Lind called out, and um, I can't remember there were uh, there were others in Congress that Probably he called out. Probably was Nunes still with them. Nunes. Maybe Nunes. Nunes was the other one he called Nunes. out. Yeah. Because he was still in Congress at the time. So how well, I want to start with Pete Sessions, because he's sitting there to ask questions on this committee. What did he think when Lev Parnas called him out? Did he pardon the expression shit his pants? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he had those like, Golame diapers for that. Yeah. <laughs> right there live on TV. I mean, all of our Democrats were wonderful at just raking these guys over the coal. And I, my favorite was at the end where the guy called, uh, I forget his name, Murkowski or something. I forget his name. 
he called for a vote. He said, let's oh, have the vote Mos right now. Moskowitz, thank you. Right, the one from yeah. The he, one he's from like, let's have the vote right now. Somebody second it, and, and nobody in the Republican Party would second that. They didn't want to do the vote. He's afraid. Pete Sessions. He's afraid. There is the <laughs> tower, and this this I don't. I guess he wasn't expecting such a thing. It came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It was a blast. To his ego and to his feeling of superiority is what I kept hearing. There is something about him that made him feel as though maybe he was here and Parnass was here type of thing. But something really hit him and it brought him down. And now he's in the nine of swords and death energy to where the changes cannot be controlled. And he is extremely, extremely nervous and afraid he doesn't know what happens next because i have the six of swords so he's trying to do some damage control behind the scenes or he's trying to get allies to maybe help him but there's something in his fear that he fears he cannot stop from happening um, there is the empress which means this problem will compound the empress expands anything and all he have in this has in this read is problems and so that means this all gets worse. Not only does this get worse, but the Empress tends to bring new things along as well, for she is also the card of birth. And so something is going to happen out, not just how he feels, but something is, is the tower leaves rubble. It leaves destruction. It leaves a cleanup. So congratulations. <laughs> What'd you get, Vicky? Um, I got that uh, he feels like he's on a runaway train of some sort. Uh, he was of the impression he could talk himself into the fact that I was just doing what I was being asked to do. I was doing my work, but he wasn't seeing where it was going, where it was taking him. And I think when Lev talked, I think that we got the, uh, the spy in the camp here. It's like, I don't know if it just dawned on this guy, but like suddenly it dawned on that he would be held responsible for the past. And then there's the King of Swords right there. So he literally was pooping his LeMay diapers, I would say. I would say he's he he I think he realized maybe for the first time that this could bite him in the butt, which is yeah. ridiculous. But you know, they live in delusion. So who's to, you know. I guess you have to, otherwise you'd never sleep a, a wink. I, I, it's it's just astounding. It's it's like he felt singled out, you know, and kind of isolated, and he's he's not accepting the connection to Trump and everything. Like he's trying to figure out, you know, Dark Knight of the Soul. How can I gaslight this? How can I cover this up? Um, because all the details were right there. So, uh, you know. There were there were also a lot of Republicans that weren't happy about this, and knowing that a lot of people were watching this, um, they're all connected, and he's he's like a star player in this. So uh, he felt extremely burdened, extremely burdened, and trying to figure out how do I block this guy? He knows all the connections. He's he's got it all. Lev, Lev served his time. He was the scapegoat for Bill Barr, you know, obviously. Yeah. Uh, oh, and he called out Bill Barr also. Um, will any of these guys that Lev Parnas called out, will any of them get investigated and have any criminal repercussions? Um, can we be specific on, like, who we're talking about? Because there's, I mean, there's so many. I imagine some will and some won't, right? Um. I mean, I want to know the big, the big fish in this. The, the, the big world. fish, like the Lindsey Graham's and Ron well, Johnson. I'm thinking the, the members of Congress. We know Giuliani and Trump are, have their own issues going on. I want to know the members of Congress he called out. Okay. All right. Will any of them have any repercussions? Thank you, Joanne. Okay. And thank you, Karen, for reposting our questions.
Hmm. We know Nunes, you know, left Congress and went to True Social, so. <coughs> <laughs> Any members of Congress in trouble? I'll say yes, but it doesn't give me clear yes or no, but here's what I'm going to say yes, is because you have this, this, almost like a rush towards the door to get out of here as fast as we can type thing. Um, there is a man here with the King of Cups, so he may be the one that is is the, is going to be first. But there's the Five of Cups, so someone is regretting something. Someone is also going through a bit of heartache or grief about something because they're, they're worried or nervous or upset or whatever. Um, this is a new thing for them with the pool card, so that means they were not called out before, now they are, and so this is a new set of problems. Um, Timing-wise, the Knight of Swords, so this can happen any time this week or next week or something of that nature, and I get the Six of Swords. So someone is trying to run from this as fast as they possibly can. I wonder if we'll have another exit on our hands. They can run, but I don't think they can hide, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ron Johnson, we know, like, he's not running for re-election. But, yeah, be interesting if there's somebody else running. What are you getting, Vicki? Um, I'm getting, uh, they're feeling overwhelmed by feelings of uh, of uh, the moon. So they're, they're losing their marbles. But the ones who are a little bit more... Uh, let's just say uh more prepared for it or is uh hiding their money but there's illumination coming and uh somebody's gonna pay somebody's definitely gonna pay um and then i get uh the queen of pentacles which i know uh leticia james doesn't really have anything to do with this but i see that as her don't ask me why and then they're all then at least three of them are falling in the in the drink here uh they're they're like circles of support falling off the the edge here into the water so i think at least three of them are going to be in big trouble big I trouble too because i'm getting all my um three cards here so i i think definitely there's three um this is their legacy to get indicted you know dark night of the soul um, they're getting very, very emotional and anxious about this because they're getting closer to the truth on every time somebody testifies. But I, I get three Republicans that are connected to Trump um, could be looking at jail time. Um, you know, all their contact uh, overseas and the spy card, you know, so espionage or whatever you want to call it. I, I'm getting, again, three of them in trouble. Um and I get like an investigator uh, may flip one of them. Mm. So one of them's going to backstab. Like if there's three, two of them, two of them get turned on. Thank you, Claudia. Hmm. Yeah, who would they be? <laughs> Only a matter of time. Um. Let's see. Do we have any other questions about love and his? Can his we life? ask? If, can we ask if Barr is going to ever, uh, besides having his uh, his name sort of drug through the mud, is anything going to come of that? The Let's abuses see. of power that he did. Wasn't um. Michael Cohen suing Barr and Trump at one time. I, I, I think he, he still was, is. I uh, thought it, he was suing them. Yeah, for a, it, it was a constitutional issue. I think yeah. he wants to bring it to the Supreme Court, right? The First Amendment. He should do a, should do a class Amendment. action with Love and uh, Igor <laughs> that also got framed. <laughs> Did Igor, Igor went to, to went to uh, 
to jail too, right? But he didn't yeah. say anything. He's he's, he's not crazy. talking. Uh, Love is talking. Love is like done. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, <laughs> I shuffled, but then I forgot to put the cards down. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Bill Bark. Bill Bar. Huh. Out there pandering his book. Ugh. He's disgusting. New Nervous. lies, rumors, and gossip. No justice, no jail, no. I get lies, rumors, gossips, page of swords, seven of cups is how it ends. So you'll, the name will come up. More stuff is going to be bandied about with the high priestess and all that good stuff. But he gets the strength in the nine of pentacles. Something about him is still secure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm getting image tarnish. Uh, basically, it's like he's having a dark night of the soul. Maybe drinking a little bit heavily, because there's really strong illumination on him, and it's it's making him nervous. And there's, uh, it's more his legacy that's getting tarnished. So he's feeling defensive. Um. I think he's already testified to the grand juries that Jack Smith um, had going, but you know he's got a he's got a rough transition. But um, there's they're looking more, I think, at the January sixth insurrection right now. So I don't think it'll go anywhere. I think it'll like kind of wrap up with the treason around January sixth, and, and it may be because he. Um, complied over the January yeah. 6th hearings that yeah. didn't go on this one, which is bull crap. Right. The the fact that he went against Trump is 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 working in his favor. I got uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So from the bot from the top to the bottom, around abuse of power, there's really not much he can do about it. He's sort of stuck. Uh, the last card um, is this though. And so even though it's the devil in this deck, I think even though he may not see jail time or he may not be, he's paying somewhere else. He's, or something else might get him, some other connection which will remain nameless but has something to do with devilish things and perhaps ex-island ex owners. Karma doesn't miss. <laughs> never, never. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Claudia, if I missed that one. Um, and for those asking about the, the cameras, um, I am um, broadcasting at a high resolution, but the cameras sometimes, because we're moving back and forth, they go out of focus sometimes. So you know, yours yeah. is pixelated. Um, Dr. Vickers is just an autofocus thing. But yours is pixelated. So it looks like your resolution is like on a 420 instead of 780. Um, I've, got it at, I've got it at 720, I think. When we first started, there was a lot of uh, sort of in and out. And, and uh, from my perspective, you guys were freezing. So I don't know. It might be, uh, it might just be that the internet is. It's um, the internet thing. Because yeah. your screen, when I first started, your screen was black, Jim. And then yeah, when it came on, it was pixelated. So it's just the internet. Well, sorry about that, guys. Um, Certain things are out of our hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually hard hardwired with my Ethernet cable into um, my internet now instead of using Wi-Fi, so it should be actually a better quality. <laughs> Could have been. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it might smooth out here in a little bit, so. 
could be uh, maybe this coming lunar eclipse messing with my uh, stuff a little bit. This is sort of <laughs> Blame it on the eclipse, baby. Blame it mm -hmm. on the eclipse. Um, MSNBC and NBC have hired Rona McDaniel, of all people, the election wow. denier that got involved with Wisconsin fake electors and stuff. They've hired her to be a commentary person for the election. Will any of the other NBC, MSNBC hosts like protest? Because I can't imagine Rachel Maddow sitting across the table from Rona McDaniel. Okay, like, tell her. like of all the people to comment from a Republican side. And why haven't you invited Eric and Don? Even if it's just to bandy words back and forth with them, like why are they not on there every single week? Because you think that they're liars and they don't want to, but why do you bring this? Like they do that every time. Some ex GOP member of this or ex GOP member of that, they think, oh, let's bring them on as a. Well, a lot of them that they've had that were Republicans have flipped, like Joe Scarborough. I mean, they, mind you, they've been boycotting for two days, so she's probably going if she's not already gone. But why? Uh, anyway. What do they call well, it? Fair and balanced? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. You got to talk to everybody, but don't hire them. Or yeah, right. bring her on and dress her down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, will there be a protest? Somebody did. A very important person. Some man here. Chariot. I don't know if he's an on-air personality, but he could be. Well, yeah, I guess he could be. Six of Wands is person center of attention celebrity. So there's a man, King of Wands, the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Also a woman, too. So there's two with the chariot card. Um, two people did or refused to talk to or refused to work with or refused to something of the nature. Or if, if they didn't refuse to work with, because maybe they weren't even in the vicinity to work with, they raised a lot of stink because of it. Uh, Christine's saying in the chat nine hours ago, it was announced that she will not be on after backlash. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. yeah that's funny. In the place. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Like she's already out in the cold. Uh, like it, it went rather quickly because she she betrayed us, you know. And I get I get the company and someone that had quite a bit of power on the network um, got them to shift and take an action to get her off of there. So that's really funny. Um, I got two people um, were. Fired up, fired up, fired up. Um, um, and there was maybe, um, you know, if if you do this, I'm stepping back, and it would be a big money, money maker. When you said it, the first person actually came to mind was was uh, Chris Hayes. Chris Hayes came to mind for me, and then we have the fool, and then judgment. Um, they just they're like, nope, nope, me or her kind of energy here. So. Um, that's what I would, I would guess, I would guess Rachel Maddow and maybe uh, the other guy that I said. They could get somebody like Ken Buck that just resigned and left Congress. Yeah, you know, that yeah, didn't, yeah, yeah. Didn't commit, you know, somebody that voted for the impeachment over the insurrection. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. I don't know. MSNBC is just like, all media is like, sometimes I think they're just saying stuff just to get us all riled up. And like, I don't think Trump is as popular as they're making him out to be. It's just, it's just, I was watching, I turned on uh, Nicole Wallace because I like her. She's pretty cool. And uh, there was somebody else on there and she was saying how the, the four people that were there were terrified that Trump would become president. And I thought to myself, I'm not terrified Trump is going to become president because Trump is not going to become president. Why are you even talking about this? I, I shut it off. I was like, I don't even hear this. This is less support than he had in 2020 and 2016. There's no way he can even get enough electoral college votes. There's no way. And the bad thing is, 
you'll have the people there who are terrified he'll become president and then you'll run out of stories and then next week you'll have four more and then five more and then okay at some point you have to create some news i understand because people roll their eyes when you give them kitten stories and rainbows i get it because where's the real news where's the hard-hitting news where's the stuff that'll make me sad and mad okay but there's other things in the world going on other than trump and I understand that he is a ratings draw, but for Fox News, not for MSNBC. Fox News wants to hear all Trump all the time. MSNBC can afford to talk about something else. Mm-hmm. They really can't because that's not their big draw. They're losing in the ratings when it comes to Fox because those people like propaganda. People who watch MSNBC want to hear a piece of news every now and then at least. And so you can talk about something else. What about what just happened in Russia? What about... Something is happening with Japan, not Japan. Um, well, yeah, hell, even Japan, are they recovered from the earthquake? What about China and Tesla? There's other things you could be talking about other than Donald Trump 24 hours a day. Yeah, it's it's funny because the Koch brothers and uh, Leonard Leo have jumped on the Trump bandwagon, uh, but there's five other Nikki Haley billionaires that are backing Biden that are... Um, dumping money into biden like anybody but trump so um he might have gotten leonard leo and his 2025 campaign that he's pushing his agenda and the Koch brothers but well it's only one Koch brother now because the other one died but um there's a he he keeps losing more people and he keeps saying i don't need nikki haley voters if you're not maga you're not with us it's like, okay, y'all, y'all just go off the cliff all by yourself. <laughs> sure out of that one and pass it around. <laughs> <laughs> so Trump's uh, 400, well, let's see. I have um, the Trump debt counter up. His $468 million is due tomorrow. <laughs> and <laughs> for his bond, um, he had the lawyers present in court that he doesn't have it. And then he got on True Social and said he had five hundred million in cash. So I want to know first of all, does he have anything in cash? Give me, give me. And if so, because there's a monitor on the the judge intensified the monitor. So if he gets cash, they want to know from where. So does he have cash? Wait a minute. Where's my Johnny Buck (laughs) set? Uh oh. Here, no Here it comes. <laughs> you keep giving them away, so you have to keep creating a new one. Here you go, Trump. Use Johnny that. Bucks. <laughs> the Johnny Bucks, like the Trump Bucks. It's worth $500 million in your dreams only, but you could make them reality, right? I'm sorry, what was the question? I was being mean. Uh, does he have $500 million in cash? Does he have? Yeah, his true social is going public tomorrow. They're saying he could make three billion off that, but he can't do anything with it, and he can't sell any of his stock for six months after the merger, after going public. Meanwhile, Letitia James has already filed for putting liens on stuff, and Eric Trump has has a viral clip going around right now, where he. <laughs> He said, I went into a few places saying, can I get $500 million? And they laughed. And like, he was serious about that. <laughs> I'm like, well, um, yeah. Funny, like, to listen to the lawyers, it's like, you don't get $500 million from one bank. You you get like $100 million from here and $50 million from here. Like, you, you piece it together. Nobody's going to give you flat out $500 million. Unless they're going to get what six hundred back, and so who's going to give you five hundred dollars, let alone five hundred million? You don't have any money, and you're proving it. Otherwise, you'd pay your debts. And so, what you're showing them right now in the public eye is you don't have five hundred million dollars, and I don't know where you're going to get it to pay me back if I gave you anywhere near five hundred million dollars. And then you send your son in here. What does he got? A house and two kids. What am I going to do with that? Now you have nothing, basically nothing. You don't own Trump Tower. You don't own Trump anything, basically. And so what is your collateral? What do you got? The hair on your head? I need something other than that. I don't want pieces of your suit and your tennis shoes. 
I need something a little more substantial than that. Does he have it? No. No. <laughs> I have swords in the pool. There's defeat in the pool. No, he does not have it. At all. Can he get it? Maybe. Does he have it? No. Yeah. What you getting, Vicky? Um, I got uh, this. He's he's brew. He's he's brewing a plan of some sort. But uh, of course, he doesn't have the money. It's he okay. doesn't have it. He doesn't own practically own anything he owns his name which is might as well start with an sh at this point but <laughs> um but we do have the father of pentacles here and then the two of 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 swords here says to me that there is an eclipse right which is this is all happening on the eclipse i have a feeling that there will be somebody who does get him the money but it's not his money and then i get the the uh uh uh, the mother of pentacles and the first person when I looked at this I'm like what woman has that kind of money that could you know give him some and I thought maybe uh, the uh, uh, DeVos family or uh, maybe uh, the uh, prince like those people have a lot of money and maybe Ivanka maybe, and Jared because they got two billion from the Saudis. Well, Ivanka and Jared are not going to give him money. I don't think uh, that five hundred million dollars, or they had done it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they're, they're not, and and you know what? I don't even know if he if he would ask because he he really doesn't want to pay it. He didn't. He'd rather uh, that's my next question. Well, I mean, he don't want to. He doesn't want to pay it. He never he pays. His fortunes have changed. His strength is manipulated. You know, here's Trump. He's trying to force the court to take an action to like reduce the the money. Um, so he's just coming in blazing and being a bully and trying to push the court around, but he's still waiting on the money. It's like unless he steals it from somewhere, he ain't got it. So that that's my next question, Vicky. Is is he because like when he screwed contractors, they would sue him to try to get the money, and then he would offer them like ten cents on the dollar. He would screw yeah. them, and they didn't have the money to fight it, right? To, for the lawyers and everything. So because he had not paid them, so they had to accept you know ten cents on the dollars, and he bankrupted a lot of companies. So. Is he doing this as a ploy to, like, he thinks he can negotiate down? Yes. The he tried that already. Didn't he offer her, like, $28 in a, in a Sprite and said, hey, can you knock this payment down a little bit? <laughs> and she was like, uh, no, you can give me $500 million in your golf course. And I'll <laughs> $28 on a Sprite because he didn't want the Sprite. He only drinks Coke. <laughs> he, only drinks he, might have, he, might, he might have to dig up uh, Ivana's... Uh, <laughs> grave, grave, yeah, to get to get that. those gold bars out of there. <laughs> <laughs> if we see an Earth mover at Bedminster, we know he's on his way out, right? He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's planted his getaway with his. With, you know, put the gold bars, stuff him in his in his uh, pockets. What he should do is get in there and close the door because they're still coming after you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Does he really? Does he really think he can negotiate? Oh God! Of course he does. He, he's he's crazy, man. He's just crazy. He has an appearance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's the six of cups. He has in the past, and he thinks you know nostalgia would work. It worked before. Letitia James, you know, I saw a meme before we started that back in the day, he refused to rent his apartments to black people. And now some black woman has taken all his property. <laughs> <laughs> now, Carmen doesn't miss, buddy. You know, um, since Bedminster's there in New Jersey, maybe he needs to get with that Democrat that got caught with all the gold bars. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe Mendes, he needs yeah. to see him. He wouldn't give it to, he, he can eat that money for his own defense. <laughs> <laughs> But the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, yes, he thinks he can negotiate, but it would not work. Yes. Um, but he does think so. Larry, let me give you this $38 in the Sprite can, empty Sprite can, and then let's see what we can do. Not even a Kit Kat. 
<laughs> Not for you, buddy. <laughs> Not with your Trump bucks. Uh -uh. With your Johnny bucks. There you go. <laughs> what you guessing, Vicky? Uh, well, he he's he's sad. He's very sad. He's very sad. Uh, and then there's a uh, I get the Ace of Pentacles, which is you know maybe. I don't know the potential, like he thinks he can do it. Daughter of cups, maybe ask his daughter. She says, no, the two of cups, um, can take like that's negotiation, right? The two of cups. And then I get, uh, the rat, the rat fink sitting on the cup. Here. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't really have any intention. I think, I don't think he has any intention of paying it. No, and, uh, that that's my feel. Unless somebody gives it to him, and somebody's crazy enough, they will. But uh, I think he thinks he can just get away with all of it. I don't know what, and it'll make him more of a martyr. And so he'll be like, "Look at me! They're taking every all the things I worked for, quote unquote, and they're taking it away." He becomes the the martyr in chief. Yeah. Or as he says, we've become a communist country. <laughs> for entertainment <laughs> purposes only, YouTube. Uh, yeah, he feels like the family is betrayed. The image of the family is betrayed, and he's he's trying to negotiate a you know a contract and negotiate like here I can give you this you know change change the amount. He is definitely trying to ship that money offer um, because he's burdened and his fortunes have changed. The family um, is not being betrayed. The family is betrayal. They're. Family Crest is like a scene from the Game of Thrones or something, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's interesting because the first place Leticia put out a, a property lean thing or a property thing on was Seven Springs. And I'm like, <coughs> I would put it on Mar-a-Lago Trump Tower because Trump Tower, like he is all weekend, he has been out of his mind thinking he's going to lose Trump Tower because uh, that's where the company started. No, that Trump Tower was built years later. Um, but that's the one who does it, right? Right. It, it, it's like I would go after those three so that we can get the the stolen documents back. The, the so only my thing, question, I'm sorry. I think the only thing he owns is the retail space in Trump Tower and his, own, own the whole in, in his penthouse. Yeah. Yeah. His thirty thousand square foot penthouse. That's only ten thousand. His, his thirty thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Air quotes, right? Okay. So, will we see a padlock on Trump Tower or Bedminster? <laughs> will we ever see a padlock? And that's the thing. You, you walking around thirty thousand square feet. That's what got you in trouble. And. A word to the wise to every man out there. When you want to say something's bigger than it is, it will always get you in trouble. So keep your mouth shut sometimes, okay? 30,000 square feet. Oh, and, and that to was Vicky's just one point, To Vicky's point, yeah, yeah, if they take Bedminster, you know Bedminster and that county are going to make them take that uh, grave off of the golf course before they do a sheriff's auction. <laughs> Maybe, get, maybe that's part of the plan, Jen. Yeah. Thank you, Patty. Well, we always got that uh, Ivana would get dug up. Maybe we missed why. <laughs> she was cremated. Which, why is she even buried? Yeah. Like, he could put her on his mantle. <laughs> I don't that's know. too close for it. He, he doesn't even sleep in the same bedroom with his wife. <laughs> She's not in any, but she's in the back of a dumpster in 7-Eleven somewhere. Like nobody, they talked about her like a dog at the funeral. He buried her box on his golf course so he can get a tax rebate or tax something. They're, so it, they they cared nothing about that. Lady. We, and some we, place we tried reading on it. who's what's in the coffin and there was everything but a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That heavy coffin that they had 10 grown men right. struggling to carry. Yeah, three, three, three. Mama Luke saw them. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, like there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I I, I, I had hoped it would fall and open and see what was in there, honestly. Yeah, but <laughs> that's kind of macabre, I think. Did she burn some paper? What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know why nobody's asking how she died of uh, uh, how she died 
falling down the stairs and having like wounds to her torso. I That's mean, I would understand you hitting, head your like head, hitting your head and, and killing you like at her age, but her torso, I mean, she wasn't that fragile. I, I think the mob came in for entertainment purposes only. Well, I think the Russian mob had something to do with that. Her non-disclosure agreement was running out uh, the next month. Oh. So she oh, was well, going to be to talk about Trump again. In house with an elevator. How convenient. Yeah. yeah. So was it a hit? Probably. <laughs> yeah. For entertainment purposes. Only. Of course, naturally. We're all, we're, we're, at, we're entertainers. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is factual. That's right. So are we going to see the girl on our mind's eye, guys? <laughs> are we going to see a padlock on Trump Tower or anywhere? Um, I don't know where exactly, but there is an eviction of some sort. The Four of Pentacles. There's, there's a desperate attempt to save something with the Four of Pentacles or maybe hide something away. And then there's the Nine of Wands is how it ends. Timing-wise, you got the Nine of Cups, so... Uh, once there is there is some sort of payment that is made to where you don't have to take everything or you don't have to take there's something specific he wants to try to say that she is coming for maybe specifically His and gold so toilet. he might be trying to say that thing but there is a lot of pressure for everything else so he can't he can't stop everything but there's something in particular he's trying to say What you get? I uh, I think I, you know what I think we're gonna see as far as padlocks on things. I think the thing we're gonna see them take is the plane. The his transportation. That's what I think. Um, otherwise, I don't think we're gonna like you know. What 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 are they gonna put a padlock on? Like the penthouse? Like they can't do that. I mean, I guess they can do that, but I think they're going to take his plane. And they, can I, give, they can give him one of those ones where the doors keep falling off that are in the <laughs> Here's a brand new one. Here's a brand well, new his, one. His plane probably isn't much better than those because it's so old and you know he's too cheap to pay upkeep on it. He can be flying out a door on a plane. Like <laughs> you know him and Eric sitting there Eric goes flying out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Bless his he heart, Jesus. He doesn't even know his kids' names. Okay. Yeah, I get there's a very strong uh, chance that we're going to see some work being done when this is all wrapped up by Letitia James, you know, the, the justice card at the root. Um, we're going to see stuff on like sheriff's auctions what they sell so we may we may see a really funny list of you know all, all you MAGA people get ready there's going to be some auctions of some stuff inside the properties because he doesn't get that either uh, but I get she secures property and uh, I get she will probably also get uh, a vehicle so airplane property or maybe that car, maybe that car that he loves the president that Rolls Royce or whatever it was, but yeah, she's she's thing. gonna burden the crap out of him. <laughs> That's what popped up in that read. I text you and Becca that picture of that beat up chariot car. It's like there's some kind of car, but it's got duct tape all. <laughs> One thing we haven't heard about, you know, Eric and Don Jr. also had to pay four million each. So do they have a bond? Do they have their money? Or the two million each? I think it was four million each. I think it was. I thought it was a million. I mean, what? Two million, four million, a million. I mean, it wasn't thirty dollars. So. Right. Yeah. Some, million, some million thing. Some million. Thing. That's a very big number, no matter what it is. A million. With with the uh, Snippy Junior, you know, all his cash is up his nose. <laughs> You're saying four million in the chat. Four million. Oh, good job. Uh, there was somebody else. Yeah, there was somebody else that was buying a million. I can't remember who that was, but the the kids. Uh, I thought it was four. That's Maybe that's what the interest. It went up to four. 
change. Now, if they don't pay that, do they go to jail? Is that how that works? No, it's it's just if they're appealing it and uh well they will have to pay it yeah like they can take properties of theirs if they don't pay it yes they do have to pay it um, so would they go to jail no they would get their houses taken from them oh so just their property okay just their properties um i did them separately i did john jr first and i got um the empress and the nine of swords he's really not doing well i don't i don't see good things for him and then uh the queen of swords i believe so i he's definitely in a bad place but he's also in a bad mental place uh and then for uh eric i got uh he, the seven of wands he's going to put up a big you know like oh no this is not and then we have the ten of uh, i mean the five of of wands and in this deck they're like batting at a wasp's nest <laughs> and then this is the this is the last card him still saying i'm innocent from behind bars like right doesn't that look like that mm -hmm. like i'm innocent i'm innocent so uh, i think i think eric might end up in jail and unfortunately i think uh i don't know i, I it doesn't look good for don jr let's put it that way that's all i'm gonna say it's so interesting to me. Every time I read on him, I've seen Autumn do it, and I see you do it. Everybody gets his mental health will pop up and read, no matter what you ask about. You can ask about him at the kids' baseball game. I get the same thing. His mental health with the temperance card, he's in the emperor. It's him and his father, and there's something there that is just, it's, it's not good. No. At all. And it calls him a spiral type thing. But as far as will he get the money, he'll have it. He has more of a trouble getting it for whatever reason with the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe he's got a payment plan like layaway or something. But there's there's some sort of promise to pay type thing because you got the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a little slower. So I think he'll get it. It'll just take more time. As far as Eric goes, I get the Ten of Pentacles first, so he'll have it, but he does try to proclaim a lot of innocence and push up a lot of story with the Seven of Cups gaslighting, that type of thing. Um, there is something, though, that makes him retreat from all that. Um, he may say something that he was not supposed to say, Kelsifreeze, and so he does retreat back because he now has to... Um, wait on something some other shoe to drop and you have something to do with this king of pentacles which is always coming up as weisberg so there's something else trump org related because he didn't pour submit that he may have to and <laughs> what's interesting too the king of pentacles is construction for me so maybe he's got a submit problem too but anyway he's got a weasel <laughs> problem and there's something else that he may have to defend against so pay your fine and save your monies for the next fine was my advice to you Mm -hmm. The only place I've got a money card is on the bottom because I'm asking about, like, will they come up with the money? Don Jr., no, he doesn't have it. Um, Eric Trump is, like, looking for it. Ivana, can I borrow it? <laughs> yeah, no. That's a no. <laughs> can, it, can, his, can his wife get it from the Democrat, from the Republican National Committee now? It's four million. Right? That's, that's me, right? Measly four million. Mm -hmm. So would would Trump allow four million to go into his son's coffers for <laughs> legal stuff, or is he likely to just take it? That's what do you what, guys think? Yeah, what's funny is like when he said he had the five hundred million. And thank you, Rose. When he said he had the five hundred million, he said he was planning on using it for his own reelection. The man has never spent his own money on his campaign ever, ever. <laughs> like that will never happen. Okay, somebody gives you five hundred million dollars. This woman over here is going to take all your money and all your no all your property unless you give it to her. No, I'll spend it on my campaign. Okay, go ahead. That way you have nowhere to live and nothing to sell. Go right ahead. And he does he doesn't even spend it on his campaign. He never has. He'll be living in Don Jr.'s basement. <laughs> okay, um, Jack Smith and Judge Cannon. Is he going to get her kicked off the case now? 
because she's put him in a situation where she could dismiss the case. Don't ask me to explain it in detail because I've watched a zillion legal yes. guys talking about it. And I can't follow it all other than if you set up the jury that way, she can dismiss the case. <laughs> because she's she's already showing she sides with Trump on the presidential uh, documents. And she's like misinterpreting the whole Presidential Documents Act. So, will Jack Smith finally get her kicked off the case before she causes him to get the case thrown out? Because in his tableau, um, it showed that she was committed or some woman in the justice, uh, House Justice was committed to his innocence. And so I get the devil and the eight of swords. So she is still committed to corruption, if you will, in this case. This card flew out, which is the world, which is completion. So would he get her kicked off the case? There is some sort of completion here. When? I do not know. The world can take a week, could take 10 years. I don't know. But I did get completion of some sort, so I guess we'll see. Thank you, Caroline. What you getting, Vicki? Um, I think, um, well, of course, we know it's all delay tactics for her, right? Um, but I do feel like there is uh, whatever circuit is above her that can decide, I feel like they're going to say, no, 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 you can't do this. I feel like they're going to step in. And I guess Jack has to request it. I don't know if that has if that has. Yeah, worked. like in the first um, uh, case when she had that special counsel guy that uh, she was mishandling and stuff, he had to get the, the 11th Circuit to... Right, right. I think that's what's going to happen because there's an abuse of power, and uh, and 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 back, you know, backroom shenanigans here. You know, she doesn't. You know, I'm not sure what she knows and what she doesn't know. I just think she's following orders. She's yeah. saying, "Do this, do this, do that," and at some point, uh, maybe she does a little homework and realizes if she pushes it any further, that it, she's going to be the one in trouble, and maybe that's when she steps. I think she definitely has like lawyers with the Federalist Society or somewhere feeding her information on how to do this because yeah. she's not that smart. Like <laughs> she's already, she's only had four trials. She doesn't have that and experience. She might be very has, smart, but without experience, how do you know? She has no right. experience. And in one of the trials, she didn't even sw swear the jurors in. So it got like dismissed and stuff. So uh she she definitely has somebody else feeding her what to say and how to say it's pretty obvious um jack's gonna fight this he's definitely you know because she's partnering with the businessman here um he he wants her gone he's he's ready to uh take an action so i see him turning his back on her and calling reaching out and whistleblowing on her hey get involved here um i get this as an in for her she's She's a problem with her uh, written documents, uh, but he will take an action. Yeah, I think she's out of there somehow, somewhere. Where? <laughs> um, MTG filed a motion to vacate House Speaker Mike, Mike Moses Johnson. <laughs> now that they have their majority of one, <laughs> oh my god and lisa murkowski said well uh, she's not in the house but she's, yeah she's in the she's senate thinking, she's gonna she's go into becoming an independent that that was awesome and, and uh several others um lisa hinted that there were several other uh senators that may go independent so are they are they gonna vote mike out Oh, from this question. resolution poor mike little mikey with the majority of one 
The other one that's going independent is George Santos. <laughs> Yeah, until he's in jail, then he's not in jail. He's in jail. Right? He's not uh, the only reason he's still running is so he can grip money to pay for his legal fees. He is an entertainer, after all. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. The show must go on. asked would he be ousted before november the ace of cups flew out so that's new person and a confirmation but let's see who are we asking about again mike <laughs> moses mike no, Johnson. Great. moses okay moses <laughs> let my people go will they part the sea for him to pass through <laughs> All because he refused to let the government shut down. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Because they're nuts. They're nuts. <laughs> and then you get people on Twitter that he's he's a rhino and he's a... Do you understand? Well, of course they don't because they don't need it yet. You don't understand what it means for the government to shut down. Like... I love the the memes on Trump, uh, bino, billionaire, and name only. <laughs> <laughs> Those were great memes. <laughs> oh, Where's that? That it was a thing I seen on Twitter that Biden said. A guy came up to him saying, "I'm being crushed by debt. I need help." And then he said, "I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Trump, or something like that." <laughs> Will he get ousted? Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. King of Wands is my card for new leadership. And then there's the Seven of Swords. So there is a scheme and a plot to do so. And it ends in the Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. Nostalgia and betrayal. So we've seen this before, have we not? And we've seen this before, have we not? I asked, would he be ousted before November? Because I do believe they will lose the house. So I asked, would he be ousted? And I get six of cups and this three of swords. So that's yes. But we shall see. Things change because she is just one voice right now. But who knows what's going on behind closed doors? Can I ask a technical question that somebody uh -huh. may know the answer to? If, say, they keep losing Republicans, and suddenly the Democrats become the. Um, then you have House Speaker Jeffries. Then, right. And then, so he might not, so it's possible that he doesn't get necessarily kicked out for the reason that, because I've always thought that Jeffries would be Speaker of the House by the end of it, like before the end of it. And it's looking so much more possible than it yeah. is. I've been. I've been getting it ever since they won the majority that Jeffries, you know, that the Dems would get the speakership back before the yep. election. Yep. Um, so, it, it's really funny that um, the, the Dems vote along with it. Every time they want to oust somebody, it's like, sure, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it, I mean, it would only take, you know, one or two Republicans voting with the Dems to get Jeffries in. Right. I get he's out. I get he's he's definitely like change and out in the cold. Thank you, Don. Um, you know, moving into action here and um he, he loses. <laughs> he loses bad news. They just don't like stability. I mean, bless your heart. Wait, thank God they stayed long enough. To get through the the budget, you know, before ousting him, so that we don't have to worry about the government shutting down till what October now. <laughs> and if Jeffrey's in charge, they'll probably have it all taken care of by August. He's pretty quick, that guy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, my the cards I got didn't indicate that he was going to necessarily get kicked out in the way that he. Uh, it looks like I feel like he's going to cooperate more with Biden now, which of course, I guess could get him kicked out, but I don't know. There's like a, there's like a weird time thing that I'm feeling here. Let, um, let's ask the question again, because, you know, energy changes and shifts. Will Jeffries be the house speaker before the election in November? 
Will they keep losing people in the House on the Republican side and Jeffries become the speaker? <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, it's a do-nothing Congress, but it's really kind of funny to watch. It's like, oh, my God, y'all just keep doing it to yourselves. Thank you, Karen. Will Hakeem Jeffries become speaker before the election? I want to say no. But my last two cards are the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, which would mean yes. Ten of Cups is my card for Democrats, and the Hierophant is my card for the government. So would he become Speaker before the election? That would be yes. Um, the reason I want to say no, though, with the Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, when it looms that close, as I think the last numbers I saw was 218 to 213 or something like that, they want to hold on because now it's panic mode because oh my god this could be a reality if we keep quitting and you have the five of wands in the word of warning but the four of cups in the word of solace which means you have been dealt a hand that you cannot change and so what is that thing you cannot change is this and so it looks like a yes to me there's just so much chaos around it that i have trepidation but We'll see. I get a yes, but not quite yet. Not this round of voting. I, I get he gets the offer. Because um, I, I get there's a woman that will get kicked out before him. So I think there's a woman that will become speaker in between. So whether that's a, a Elise Stefanik or something like that. Uh, but I, I get he does secure it and success you know becomes the star um there's there are others that feel bullied and pushed out uh so i think there will be more people leaving more of the same judgment card more of the same repeating 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 and more people abandoning their positions i start with death i, I was wondering maybe somebody on the republican side might um some of those people are pretty, pretty, pretty elderly. You know, not that that means you should die, but you know, I mean, <laughs> some of them are sick. I mean, who's the guy who's just came back from cancer? Uh, Scalise. I mean, how is he feeling? Uh, then I get the four of, of wands, which is the Democrats card, right? And then the ten of swords, which is probably poor Mike Johnson, poor bastard. Uh, and then three more, three more Republicans run away. Uh, and then there's the change of fortune. So I do think Hakeem Jeffries is going to end up being speaker. It might be like, you know, the last month or the last three weeks before the election or something like that. But I mean, I, I do think, uh, and I don't know about in between. I didn't have a sense of that. But uh, I mean, who are they going to ask? Marjorie Taylor Greene? Right? I mean, who? who that's, that's, you know. The screamer of the house. Screamer of the house. <laughs> so, <speaker. laughs> so, Mike Johnson, will he be vindictive enough to kick Marjorie Taylor Greene off her committees? She's coming for his neck now. I think he's she's he's afraid of her. She could beat his ass, man. That cross training. <laughs> Yeah, Banshee of the house. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
He is a very weak person. So I don't think so. There is the Two of Cups. He likes to play. He's 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 a different kind of person. It's like me. I don't like confrontation either. I don't like yelling and screaming at people and arguing and all of that. But I'm a very vengeful person, so I'm also not going to let it go. And so you you could do the yelling and screaming part, and then I'll say nothing. But, you know, if you see a shadow, it wasn't a shadow. Type of <laughs> so there is the Two of Cups and the Five of Wands. There is arguing and bickering amongst them there with the harmony that's supposed to be had. He wants it to look as though they're still on the same page, but there's nothing but chaos and conflict. Meanwhile, there's the Seven of Swords, so there's some sort of plot and scheme, too. So he's doing something, but it's not overt. He's not he's not putting his name on something. It looks like, you know, a revenge, but it's backhanded. But nothing's going to happen to her, though. I think he'll suck it up and keep it moving, but he may do a lot of back talking and and character assassination, that type of thing. Who are you going to convince she's a horrible person? I mean, we've seen it already. So he's he's not a very strong person. But. I get that she makes too much money for the Republican Party. And when it comes down to the money, she's one of the top money getters. And so it gives her strength. And he is, uh, no, hold on. He is walking off the cliff. There, where is it? There he is. That's him. <laughs> and then, uh, oops, sorry, the death card. I can't see what I'm doing here. Here we go. So uh, I think she's going to de definitely ask him if if that. I don't think that was the question, but that's the answer. <laughs> They're going to need somebody to fundraise for the super PACs because Trump's taking all the money out of the RNC. <laughs> right. I got nothing. Right. He, yeah, he's nervous about doing something about her, and I think he'll be out. You know, he loses. He's out before he can do anything about her. Crash and burn. Um, what? What's kind of funny, you know, he may pull a Kevin McCarthy and, and retire, like, take off and say, okay, fine, screw you. So I'm not sure that um, he'll stick around. Well, he's in a no-win situation. He can't do anything to please... He can't do any real work, which is, you would think that's why he was there, to do real work. I don't think he's so much of a shill that he doesn't want to do a good job. You know what I'm saying? So that's the vibe I get from him. That he he's would playing like his role as speaker, as in, okay, let's move things along. He's right. still a Trump apologist, so it's not like he's a great person. Right. But he's also not there to stick a wrench in everything, and that's what the Marjorie's want him to do. It's like, okay, but do you understand what government shutdown means, especially for Republicans right now? Because Democrats have found their spine, and they're now blaming you for things that they should be blaming you for. And if the government yeah. shuts down and people don't get their Social Security, people don't get their AIDS, people don't get their this, people don't, all the government bills and start to shut down, and the parks, and the this, they're going to blame you for it. And how does that look for Trump in the election here? And Not how's serious. it look for them in an election year? They have nothing to campaign on. And you're already getting cut funding because the RNC is going to the DJT. And so, yes, cut the funding and give us a bad image. That's great. You know, it almost feels like Trump doesn't care if he wins because he's just going to want to take it. Like he doesn't he, he doesn't care if he's getting it. He's like, I don't care if I win. I'm going to take it. Give me because that episode of Seinfeld where George Costanza went to work in a job he didn't have, but he liked yeah, showing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Penske file. It's the Penske file. That's a mess. Uh, so I, I got to ask the impeachment uh, against Biden, will they ever bring it to a vote? Will they ever? Even though they have zero evidence of anything. Where the smoke there's fire. Does it just have to be uh does it just have to be the majority that says yes for that to go through? Or is there like a special it's not like a filibuster thing or anything the, like that? The committee has to first 
uh, vote on it, you know, to put it on through, to put it to the floor, and then the speaker has to bring it to the floor and vote. This is submission of some woman here. Um, she's in collaboration with other dark money people or some dark room collaboration. This has nothing to do with impeaching Biden. It's just supposed to be a stain tit for tat type of thing because they're they're all talking behind the closed doors about this. If you got evidence, show it. But you don't. All you got is a bunch of this. It's meant to worry and stress and cause anxiety. So it's that's what I get, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. As far as a vote, I didn't get the answer to that. I'll say no, but yeah, I'll say no too. I get the eight of cups. They're going to go so far and then turn their back on it. It's it's going to crash and burn because the, the more they present things for the impeachment of Biden, it reveals more about Trump, right? So <laughs> every time they do something, it just draws more attention to Trump. So the details are all manipulated and everything. No, this is going to crash and burn. They're stuck. They have nothing. They have nothing. And they don't, don't, they don't want to keep bringing up stuff Trump did. <laughs> Criminal yeah, things. I don't even know why we're, we're going through this. Because if we want to know what Trump did, we just have to listen to him. Whatever he says, <laughs> whatever he says Biden did, he did. He did. Whatever, <laughs> whatever he said the Democrats are, do, are doing, they did. It's not that hard. I mean, we could save a whole lot of money. Just think we could probably get rid of the national debt <laughs> with, that, with that, saving that money. Jesus, Mary and Judah. He said the words, I took the documents legally, which means you took them. <laughs> now, yeah. there is a difference between what you call legally and what the law calls legally. So yeah, if I'm calling it illegal, then case over. He said he took them. Let's be done. Okay, so Trump has sued TV anchor George Stephanopoulos, you know, on Good Morning America. He has sued him for defamation. Like, how do you defame Trump? <laughs> you know, how, how he tells on himself all the time he's a horrible person. How do you tarnish his image? He tarnishes it himself. He sued George for uh claiming that E. Jean Carroll uh, was raped by Trump. So he sued for defamation. How's this going to go? Is this recent? Did I miss yes. this? Yes. Oh, wow. George Stephanopoulos was trending the other day. Was, was defaming Trump. Here's like, my he thing, defaming? Donald Trump. Okay, you lost $88 million to this woman total. Don't you want to stop talking about this at some point? By Just, a jury. It's it's over. Let it be under the rug. Your, your supporters don't believe it. We, of course, always will. And so let it go. You, you got to drag this out through court. I mean, he has to prove how it's tarnished his image. But in court, if you think about it, what card do you keep getting for him? The loser. <laughs> that is the person who is crying over the spilled milk and won't let it go. Yeah. That five of cups, those three cups that have fallen over, it's 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 done. Leave it he's alone. Got, in this part of the brain, he's got Obama living. In this part of the <laughs> brain, he's got Eugene Carroll. And that's all his brain can handle. <laughs> he's going to come out one day is. and say he Eugene doesn't know who she is. is. <laughs> he doesn't know who she is, so yeah. he's, he's in the oh, part of the brain where that's, you know, that's my ex-wife. <laughs> that's my ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What am I really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say live in hope, die in despair, Donald. <laughs> that's what I say. He's just looking for some quick bucks, that's all. He's looking for a payout. Yeah, by tomorrow, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, there it might be a bit of pettiness, and I'm all here for it. Boots moment. Um, the six of swords and the knight of cups. There may be some hey, come and give a statement 
and we can talk about it. That way you have to give up some information and that like there is some kind of egging on, but this goes nowhere. with the seven of wands, two of pentacles. This, this is theater. Mind you, this is kind of, he's been, he does remember when he sued Bill Maher because he said that was a legal contract that you were going to offer me $5 million if I showed you my birth certificate to prove that my father was not an orangutan. So this is the stuff he likes to do. He likes to be the person who sues people because he thinks people are afraid of him and that they won't buy lawyers of their own. And then so it goes nowhere, but it's just Trump theater. Bless his heart. That's, that's a theater. I think, <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, Jen. I'm it's, it's, this is going to get resolved really quick. I, I think it'll get blocked or thrown out because uh, he's burdened. He can't. He can't prove that he was betrayed. This is manipulation. He is looking for money. Um, so, you know, and the money, the money wouldn't come fast enough for him anyway. So it's just a emotional outburst. <laughs> yeah. Poor Trumpy. <laughs> well, I need... 11,780 votes and $464 million. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. I'm, surpri I'm surprised there's not like, like a rap song or something. 11,060, however many votes I need. That's what I need. That's what I need. Like, there should be a song, right? <laughs> there will be. Where's Randy Rainbow? <laughs> Where's Randy Rainbow? <laughs> Where's Randy? How, many votes, how much money? How many millions? <laughs> oh so, why isn't um, Ivanka helping Daddy? It's money. Why? why like which? Daddy, who? She has been which? seen with him recently. Why uh, at Mar a Lago? Why isn't she helping him financially? There's a video, very cringy. Don't watch it. Of him talking about his daughter over the years, it's it's yeah. Oh yeah, the sexual yeah. connotations. It's like what the heck is wrong with this man? Why is she not helping him? Sins of the father shall not bother the child. Yeah, I've, I've got that song from the Broadway play Rent running through my head now, but instead it's like I, I'm hearing, you know, five, the, instead of the minutes, I'm hearing the millions. <laughs> 575,000 minutes, it's like $575,000. <laughs> Why is Ivanka? Not helping daddy. Hey, Bella. <laughs> First caught out the hermit. She's hiding. <laughs> daddy, you. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh, brother. You know, 670 million they made and lined their pockets with while they were working in the White House. Two billion they got from the Saudis. Why aren't they helping? What you getting? Um, I get she's hiding from the tower, the hermit in the tower. She's she's hiding from the destruction. This is her at the root, the daughter of wands. I get the death card in the past. She's cut, she cut, cut bait with him. Uh, mother of cups. She's tired of mothering him, and I think she's just planning on her own for her own happiness. She's she's like f you, dad. I, I tried to convince you to stop the January 6th thing. 
I mean, how how stupid are you? I mean, I don't know if she actually said that to her husband. Maybe that was just me saying it. I don't know. But yeah, she's just, she wants to get on with her life. She wants to go back to being the debutante. She's not interested in any of this. Yeah, I, I get that same cup, like that ace of cups, that she's she's a celebrity and, and secure in that, and her money is secure, and she's fighting and resisting him. She's, she is not going to help. Um, you know, he's, he's a drug addict and he's corrupt and she's blocking him. <laughs> so she knows exactly who her daddy is. I'm going to put it that way. She knows exactly who he is and what he has done. Um, and I think she's also concerned about, you know, she got away with some stuff in New York because of statute of limitations that they could still come after her for things. So yeah. You know, some of the work that, that she's done, she could still face some legal issues over. I get she does not love him. That's why. The Six of Cups, there would be your childhood, your nostalgia. The Emperor, there would be the father in the Five of Swords, that would be the abusive father. And they do not have the greatest of relationships, so it's the Death and the Moon card. Yeah. Um, there is no reason to help. She is going to portray an image in front because remember Trump, the name, the image behind the name is all they ever had. Right. That's why people like me who were some dot native New Yorkers, I didn't know who Trump was. I thought he was a billionaire because that was his character on TV. And then when he ran for president, then you see who he really is. I, I knew nothing about him. And so I believed the image because that's all I ever saw. And so that's what they put forward. But what really is going on? He's an abusive father and she doesn't love him. Um, Trump's monitor uh, got empowered with more power by um, the judge that's watching uh, Trump org. Will, they, will his monitor find more crimes, discover more crimes? More fraud, more charges to come. <laughs> King of Pentacles in the Sun fell out. So, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, they find more crimes because they have to report every little like even even if he comes up with the bond tomorrow they have to report every little thing if where did the money come from oh boy <laughs> crimes i will call it for now being the cautious psychic i will call it for now inconsistencies it is the moon card, which is meant to conceal because it's trying to hide something. Um, it has something to do, yes, with the business and all that stuff with the four of wands. There is a person or entity or entity named after a person, something like that. Could be truth social or Trump social or Trump water or something. It's anyway. There's something there. Those records in that money with the Knight of Pentacles, there's something funny going on there with the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and that moon in the middle. And then there's the hangman. So something is stopped or something is seized or something is... There's an enlightenment, again, with that sun falling out. As far as a crime goes, I'll say no. But as far as an inconsistency or something suspicious... I will say yes. Because when I say, when I hear crime, I'm thinking, are we going to lead to charges or indictments? I'll say this is more something suspicious than a crime. Um, I got the judgment card. I feel like there's like a whole bunch of stuff that's still to be uncovered. And you can see in this deck, like, it's like the light shines and then like all the other like things that were hidden come out. 
and then I get the Father of Swords, which is, of course, the King of Swords. So that's more legal stuff. The Sun, um, again, this could be Don Jr. But then I get the Eight of Pentacles in this deck and then the Temperance. I feel like this is, uh, I almost feel like what she does is a primer in how cheats cheat. And like they're going to, I think they're going to learn some tricks that maybe they can change the laws around so that they, people can't do that anymore. I feel like it's a, it's a real learning opportunity for this, for this woman. And of course she could go after it, but how much money do these people have? If they're, if there's no, if they have nothing, what do they do? Right. Is it worth their time and their effort and the money it would take to prove it? if they can't get anything back anyway i mean i don't know how that works i'm not a lawyer so i'm not sure law has anything to do with this common sense well, or anything like that you know what i mean you know how campaign donations like you know he pays for things like a melania's hairdresser and his plane and stuff like that his rallies <clears throat> his legal fees all those kinds of things but I think he's paying himself too. I don't think he's got two nickels to rub together to buy his little hamburgers every night. Um, I, and I think they're going to discover something uh, because he's trying to get to higher ground against Biden um, where he's taking money, fundraising money, and he's covering it up and shifting it into his own personal little pocket here. So... I, I think it's like campaign finance fraud, um, but it's it's not like um, overvaluing uh, over evaluating properties or anything like that. I think he's like paying himself out of his campaign finances because he doesn't have money. Poor guy. Be on the side of the road hitching a ride before it's over <laughs> <laughs> with his basket <laughs> on his little grocery <laughs> cart. <laughs> um, the Supreme Court immunity case are they going to grant immunity to Trump? Uh, all right, there's only one, one point that they're allowing to be discussed in April. And what is, do you, do you know? Um, I forget what it is now. <laughs> after, after the Judge Cannon thing, like I started getting the two confused. Uh, right, right. It, it has to do with the. Uh, who, thought, who thought we'd all be legal scholars at the end of this? I mean, yeah. honestly, I, I've never really wanted to know, but now I know. Like, all you have to do, at least they have good lawyers on, though. Yeah, there, there's like one point in the whole immunity thing that they're accepting arguments on. And I, I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> oh, boy. He has not granted immunity. He's granted maybe a new defense though. So something that he could possibly use in defending. There's the seven of wands and the hangman. So there is some sort of change coming here, but after enlightenment happens, but as far as the immunity goes, no, with the tower, but there's some other thing that he can use. To delay again. <laughs>
How many justices I, are there now? Nine? Nine. Six, six and three. Hmm. Something's coming out in the details on this. Yeah, that one point, it, it's like they're not finished with that one point. So to Johnny's point, they're very burdened to give him immunity on that one point. Um, I'm getting it's kind of a 50-50 thing on that on that one thing. The others are dead in the water. Um, but it made, I, go ahead. I'm sorry. It made twist his defense around a little bit somehow. Um, I I feel like there's three justices that are getting paid off big big money to vote one way, uh, probably for entertainment purposes only. Uh, Alito and um, and um, Thomas. Thomas and and maybe um, the other guy, um, <laughs> the alcoholic one. Oh my God! Maybe Kavanaugh. Maybe or maybe jo uh, um, the chief, right? But I think Amy Comey, Coney Barrett's going to surprise people with this one. I think she's going to vote against uh, whatever, you know. No, I don't think he's going to get immunity. That's what I think. I don't, I don't think he'll I get think the... I think it's close. I think it's going to be close. It might go down the gender line. Um, and then somebody maybe is going to have to be in the middle there. It, it's interesting because, like, um, you know, the appellate court had written it up so much, so well that they were only interested in hearing about one section of it. Um, they already like basically threw everything else out. Um, but he's, he's not going to have immunity for in general for most of it, but there's, there's one thing that's throwing a monkey wrench in it. Um, True social stock was getting inflated out the wazoo the other day, and then it started dropping and tanking. But Trump stands to make $3 billion off the stock going public, even though he can't do anything uh, for six months. Um, the last time he had stock that went public, it was for his Trump hotels and casinos with the Taj Hotel, mm -hmm. um, which lost a billion dollars for the investors. <laughs> For the for those buying stocks, so um, Trump made like forty four million on it, but it, the investors lost a billion dollars. I want to know his true social stock going public. Is it going to cause more legal problems for Trump down the road? Because it's kind of like they're they're doing with it that um, pumping it up like they did with GameStop. Oh yeah, yeah. It seems like a million years ago, doesn't it? Yeah, and um, Janby's bringing up the point. The The board can waive the six-month period, so um, there's a chance that, you know, he could make the money and the board waives his six-month waiting period. So. so this might be a strange question. Does Truth Social make any money? No, it's... It, uh is in makes less money in a month than Midas Touch makes in a day, they said. And yet it can go on the don't, don't you have to show like that that it's a viable organization yeah. where you get on the stock market, right? Am I yeah. crazy or did, did could I have been on the stock market years ago? Like what's going the, on here? The amount of money that it has oh, earned geez. is really fiddly. Oh, this is from the from the fryer from the fryer no from the frying pan to the fire. That's what this is. This is going to get him a whole lot more shit. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say the word right. For entertainment purposes only. I'm going to get kicked off the boats if I keep talking like this. You'll never get kicked off the boots. <laughs> Oh. 
Um, legal problems somewhere in, down the line. There's a defense. I don't think anything comes of it. Like there's there's no, and if it is, it's delayed. There's a seven of wands, so there is defending of some sort. The ace of pentacles and justice that has something to do with money. But not just money, but money that is given or money that may, it's not the seven of pentacles, so I can't necessarily say invested, but it's money that's given. So True Social got a bunch of money because it was a good way for laundering, because you can pile a lot of money into this one little place and it looked like a business. Meanwhile, if you privately invest in it, you get nothing. But these people who put their little dark money into it are going to all pull their money out of it eventually, like Donald Trump just did or is trying to do. And so this was all just a scheme for him to turn around a profit, not for him to create a social platform. So there's something around that, maybe SEC or FCC, one of the ABC corporations that we got in the government. Maybe they have something to say about it, but we'll see. Probably FEC. Maybe, you know, after he took Taj public, it was uh and made the money he did off of it that's when he filed bankruptcy you know and it closed so how do you bankrupt a casino can you yep. can can he claim bankruptcy again now is this like a thing like i look in i think he could i mean you know four times that he's filed before i i think he you know you can keep filing anytime you get in trouble I don't think any of it was personal bankruptcy, right? This might be personal bankruptcy. This might be something different then, because it was all like business bankruptcy, right? I I get there are people that are dissatisfied with the investments, and there might be an investigation where they're they're looking at the regulations and the restrictions on um, what's done with the money. So, but I get there won't be any big troubles until trump manipulates the investment so in other words lies about it on his taxes because there's a lie and then he ends up in court again <laughs> so when he creates a lie around the money then he's in trouble <laughs> i get choices something being revealed an abuse of power more people falling into the drink this might be all his alcohol for him and well anyway and then he's in he's in hell i mean that's pretty hellish that's a hellscape if you ask me yeah and it's funny because it's it's a hellscape on uh, wall street right it has the the bull at on wall street <laughs> yeah that's bull. true yeah wall street's a buyer man yeah, buyer. <laughs> Well, he's draining the swamp. Maybe we'll get a few Wall Street people out of this uh, this debacle as well. He'll be revealing all the secrets on how to be a criminal. So let's ask um, Lisa Murkowski going going uh, independent. She said that there's you know there were seven GOP that voted to impeach Trump over January 6th, one of them being uh, uh, Romney, who retired. Yep. But are we going to see more Republican GOP going independent? It's like, you really want to piss them off, go Democrat. But no, they're going to they're gonna go independent, which will allow them, like Bernie, is it Bernie Sanders is independent. He caucuses yep. with the Dems. Right. As an independent, they can caucus with the Republicans. Don't go dim, because then you're going to convince some Democratic voters out there that you're on their side, like they, mm -hmm. like Kensinger is trying to do in Texas. Meanwhile, no. He said he would run as a conservative Democrat. No, you would run as a conservative. That you Stay over there. Would you take yep. cinema with you? More gonna go independent. I think it would be hard for the for them to go re because the the Democrats are considered by the Republicans to be poison, so it makes more sense that they would become an independent because then they can, you know, say, well, I'm just independent of the crazy Republican Party that we have in now. 
My tarot cat has arrived, Roo Roo. <laughs> <laughs> You know, as Lisa Murkowski put it, she cannot endorse Trump. Yeah. You could. Susan Collins, who endorsed Nikki Haley, has not come out and endorsed Trump yet. She could, too. Mm -hmm. If you didn't like him then, then you won't like him now. If you liked him then, then you're trying to save face now. He's the same person. So if you supported him four or five, six, seven years ago, ain't nothing changed. Now you're just trying to save face and not look like a MAGA all of a sudden. You're the same person. He's the same person. You don't fool me. But there's the high priestess. So more of them going to go independent. Secretly, they're going to be the same as they are. But there will be some sort of switch mm. With the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess joining some other kind of team. So either a no labels or independent or something like that, but they're still the same person. Keep that in mind. I think there's going to be at least three. What are you getting, Vicki? Three. Three. But the, for whoever goes first, and it could be Mikowski, she has to be really careful about the way she does it. I think it has to be somebody who's safe to do it. You know what I mean? Like there are certain states where it's probably not safe to do that, but Alaska might be one of those states that's, 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 uh, and then we're going to have a, a, a meltdown from the old emperor. Um, and he's like, where, where, how are we going to make America great again? But then I feel like three, three power players um, choose the government. They choose the government, so they choose a functioning government. So that would mean to me that they would have to become independent and move themselves away from the Republican Party in order to um, be able to do anything and, and have an excuse for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have an alibi, as they say in the, in the biz. <laughs> I, I get three of them working together on this, uh, all the all the three cards again. So uh, I think there's three of them that have you know joined forces on this because of loser Trump. And they're like, we we're taking an action. We're going to move you know in a different direction from this and try to protect ourselves. Uh, but it's 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 yeah, I got him both ways here. <laughs> loser Trump. <laughs> um but I'm getting at least three and a cattail to boot. Yeah, I think, I think Lisa Murkowski is a good bet. Uh, I don't know about the other one because she's so wishy-washy. I don't think she's got the, the goyones for that. Well, she likes to give Trump benefit of the doubt that he'll learn his <laughs> lesson. <laughs> I believe a 50,000-year-old man. He ain't learned by now. He ain't going to learn tomorrow. So, Josh Hawley did a talk uh, the other day. Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> but what? Josh Hawley did a talk the other day, uh, and he thinks that young men are living in their parents' basement and addicted to porn. So he's apparently as obsessed by porn as Moses Mike, who has an app to monitor his son's porn watching, right? Well, you know, first of all, you're supposed to be 18 to watch porn anyway, right? Uh, so if, if uh, young men are living in the basement into their 30s watching porn, <laughs> like what's his point? Why, why is he obsessed? Because he, he's written books about manhood. You know, the, the senator who ran on January 6th has written books about manhood. Mm -hmm. Why is he so obsessed with porn? Is he projecting? Can we, can we call it manhood or are we going to call it porn? <laughs> oh, what is it? The devil. <laughs> he's got, he's got his own vices. He's got secrets. Because you tend to talk about the thing that you are usually around the most. 
because that's sort of where your passions lie, if you will. I do talk about tarot cards a lot, believe it or not. I don't talk about the news a lot because I don't really give a crap. But at the same time, I talk about cards a lot, even with people who don't read cards. <laughs> and so that's kind of where my focus lies. If you are constantly talking about manhood and what's a man, because here's another thing, too. If you've got to tell everybody, then it's probably not true. Mm -hmm. Because there are people, I'm sure in the chat, that there is a man in their life somewhere, whether it was their husbands or brothers or grandfathers or somebody, they didn't have to prove who they were to nobody and everybody knew it. You knew that Papa Joe was always a stand-up guy and everybody saw it and everybody knew it and everybody loved him and blah, 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 blah. He never walked around, though, with a I'm a man shirt. He may have had his number one grandpa shirt that somebody bought him, but he didn't pick it out for himself. If you have to go around, and that's constantly the thing you're talking about, then that's the thing you have probably the least, young man, is manhood. You probably want it, and you don't have it. When that mob was coming in there, where was your John Wayne spirit then? And you, you should have stood there on ten toes down and said, they will not come in here, partner, I bet you that. But no, you ran. Like you were in fast forward and you just went out of there, which boy, get out of here. Might have popped you upside your hands. If you if you were a real man, you wouldn't have to prove it. Thank you. It's like why are you in you know young men's basements talking about porn and stuff when you got your own party that's supposedly having sex parties and stuff? Because I get there's a there's a lot of partying going around around and his preoccupation with what manhood is um he, he runs a loop at his own head and but he also says things to get the attention of women he thinks women will respond to this women voters which means he's not invited to the parties which is why he's in his basement with his porn subscriptions <laughs> meanwhile they invited madison carthorn but they didn't invite you that should say something <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So um, I get he has secrets. He has secrets. Um, but I find it interesting, we get the heartbreak here, that uh, the two people that I know talk about manhood all the time are him and Tucker Carlson. And they have something in common. They're both rich. They're both, they're both Ivy League rich little there's a word that begins with a P and ends with a K. And mind you, Tarko Carlson was telling people to, what was he, tan their testicles or tan, something? Tan like that? your testicles, get the light in there. Yeah, yeah. There's this weird sort of like almost, I, I feel like they say it because because they're such little twat. Tw can, can I say that word? Can I say it? with pick. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I was thinking of the TW. They're twats. <laughs> and, oh, God, here comes the jersey now. Um, so it's like they're overcompensating because they're just like chickens. Simps is what they're called nowadays. What's it called? What's Simps. It's a weak man. Simps, you know, and it's like just, first of all, if you want to be a strong man, open your heart. A strong man loves. A strong man doesn't hurt. A strong man doesn't take what he wants. That's a weak man. That's a bully. And they're just bullies. That's all they are. And, you know, I mean, oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I'm done. Thank you very much. <laughs> if they think they can change young men from as becca puts it choking the chicken <laughs> it's not gonna happen a lot of these kids that's, live in their, that's their, their, normal. they live in their parents basically because they they have too much debt they can't afford be, they can't afford to get out they don't have somebody pay in their way you that's know it. they don't have somebody pay it's it's very it's very sad it's very isolating um and they're and these these are the people that 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 are be, are backing them they're and just they're bullying the people who are backing them is what uh -huh. he's never going to get young voters talking to them that way. <laughs> it, 
basically pigeonholing who the young voter is. Oh, they live in their parents' basement. Why do they live in their parents' basement? Possibly because of a reality that Republicans created. That's and some right. Democrats helped them too, but Republicans yep. created this pull yourself up by your bootstraps, but I'm only going to pay you five fifty and then six twenty five and then we'll stop at seven twenty five for the past eleven years or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's gonna yeah. buy a house or an apartment with seven dollars and twenty five cents in it? Pull up your by, by your bootstraps, but we ain't giving you no boots. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are these? What are they supposed to do? So they live in a fantasy world. Do you blame them? Right. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all two thousand that were joining us tonight. Um, for joining us uh, next Sunday, which is Easter, will be on Becca's channel, House of Lenormand. Um, I believe um, Lena's going to be joining us next week. I believe so. Um, thank you to Don. Uh, I think I missed you in the super chats when you uh, were donating, and all the super chatters. Thank you to our moderators. Please do check out Victoria Skirbo on her channel. Um, she does great. If you haven't watched her doing her numerology, Kabbalah Tree of Life readings with astrology, they're awesome. Go and look for some of those. They're awesome. Um, and we will see everybody next week. Bye, everyone. Thank you.